What is going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper Day bringing you guys another video on the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. As always, I'm bringing you guys plenty of tests and plenty of tips and tricks for your HP Pavilion or gaming laptop in general as well as some other uh, tech tips and stuff like that on gaming laptops and PCs in general. That being said, guys, today we're doing Val uh, Valheim on the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. Uh, now, Valheim, Valheim, I keep getting tongue twisted on the name, but Valheim is, uh, pr I'm not sure that it's that much of a demanding game, but uh, I'm, it runs more like Ark, is what it feels like to me anyways. Uh, people may look at it a little bit differently, uh, but uh, I am doing a, uh, I do have the graphics set to high on most settings. I do turn the shadows down on uh, low that being said I'm getting around the 60 FPS range so I would really honestly recommend that you just turn your V-Sync on for this so I would just turn V-Sync on if you're gonna play Valheim on it and just run your constant 60 I did have to go in here and tweak the settings just a bit as the shadow quality was on high yeah you want to turn your shadow quality or anything to do with shadow settings as low as possible and or off that will get you the better performance better FPS and it's gonna play a lot smoother uh, that's for, again, laptops, gaming laptops, or PCs in general, any kind of settings. Same thing with Fortnite. If anything to do with shadows, you know, you want to turn them down, typically. Um, that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy this video of another test on the HP Pavilion. That the, uh, you know, another game that they can run. Uh, so if you guys want to see different games or more games, let me know down in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you. Try to cover a lot of games on top of trying to do some other stuff with the channel. Uh, again, be sure to like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.